instance. So these are very big effects. Uh, so, for example, in terms of, of healing, one of the things that we ultimately expect to do is to be able to broadcast this so that we create an environment where people are 500 or 1,000 miles away or 10,000 miles away wherein they can use their intention to enhance their health. So, it's, so you can begin to see how you can influence the various technologies. In a, let's say in a, a chemical plant or pharmaceutical plant, you, they want to make a particular product and the product has isomers, that is, there are other things that are created at the same time and the yield of the one they want is very low. Well, one uses intention to enhance the yield of the one they want and diminish the yields of the others that occur so it's much easier to extract the one they want. A lot of savings. Um, you can consider it in terms of, you know, in, in artificial intelligence. That has not been a big success because it doesn't have intelligence beyond what people put in the software. This stuff we're doing seems to have an innate intelligence in the sense that it, it not only lifts the gauge symmetry state of the space, but it tunes it to a specific intention. That, that requires intelligence. It just does that. It doesn't do all these other things. The ones that we, the devices we create for affecting fruit fly larvae, their ATP to ADP ratio, or uh, liver enzyme, or water, they're all different. One doesn't do the job of the other. So that's very interesting. And the, the really key interesting thing is, is that when these processes are used and the gauge symmetry state of the space is raised, the thermodynamic free energy per unit volume of that state is raised. So for the very first time in human history, we see a process going on very different than the normal one, which is increase of entropy and degradation of potential. We see the reverse. We see increase of potential, which probably means reduction of entropy. 